88, 87 today? Yes, in Central Park. It was definitely a hot one, Antoine. But now we're picking up some shower activity on our radar. Here's a look at it now. It's now moving through parts of New York City around Staten Island. We're also getting a couple of light rain showers across New York City. And now moving into Brooklyn as well as over towards Queens. We had a cell that came out of uh, the northern part of Monmouth County and Ocean County earlier. It has now crossed over into the south shore here. And we're seeing a couple of downpours in and around JFK. And it is moving to the east, northeast. So places like Lakeview and Bellrose, you'll be getting into the rain shortly. We have light rain showers moving across New York City, but everyone else is mainly dry other than a few spot, uh, spot showers being found along the Jersey Shore. As we go through the overnight, I'm going to leave in the chance for a couple of more isolated showers, and tomorrow morning we'll wake up with some patchy fog. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds for the start of the week, but there will also be the threat of showers and storms. We're also going to turn up the heat and humidity this week. I'll let you know more on what you can expect coming up. Antoine and Christina? All right, Audrey, thanks. Still ahead on the Fox 5 News at 10. 88. Eight. All right, did you enjoy that super moon outside? Audrey Pointe took some great pictures. Here with the forecast. It's great Hi. pictures, Audrey. Also, we have to tell my friend Carl happy birthday. Happy so he's birthday. watching to find out what tomorrow is oh, going to look like. Happy birthday, Carl. We are going to turn up the heat for you on your birthday. <laughs> that's for sure. Temperatures are going to be hitting 90 degrees or greater across parts of the tri state area. We were close to that in Central Park today with our high of 88 degrees. We hit that at about 1 o'clock this afternoon. And this morning, we start off very mild with a temperature of 70 degrees. Check out those sunrise and sunset times. A nice long day across the tri state area. High temperatures were mostly in the 80s, although we did top it out at 92 degrees in Poughkeepsie. We'll probably see a few more spots like that in the afternoon hours tomorrow. Right now, it's still pretty warm out there with 77 in the park, same number being found at Newark Liberty Airport. It's 76 in Sussex. We're at 73 in Monticello and out towards the east. We're at 73 in Islip with 70 degrees out towards Montauk Point. So we had a couple of showers and storms roll through central parts of New Jersey earlier this evening. They've now slipped offshore of the highlands, and they're now moving into areas like around JFK and heading out towards Nassau County. It's all moving in the east-northeast direction, so these are the areas that will probably see the rainfall over the next 30 to 60 minutes. But I'm also watching another batch that's sitting just to our northwest here. These are going to probably clip parts of northeast Pennsylvania and head up down towards the Hudson Valley through the overnight hours. So can't rule out the chance for a couple of more isolated showers as we go through tonight. So as we look at the future cast, we'll see that batch coming through overnight. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up with some patchy fog, but we'll see some sun breaking through from time to time. And then much of the day will be a mix of sun and clouds until the afternoon. That's when we're going to see showers and thunderstorms popping up from all the humidity that will be building up throughout the day. Then as we get into the evening, it should be quieting down, and then Tuesday morning we'll start off again with a lot of sunshine coming through, some clouds, and then we'll see showers and storms popping up towards the afternoon, and they'll die off once the sun sets in the evening. So we're going to stay in kind of this unsettled pattern, this more summer-like pattern, as we go through the next several days, and we're also going to throw in a bit, of a bit of heat, as well as some very high humidity levels, too. Mostly cloudy tonight. We'll throw in the chance for isolated showers. It'll be warm, too, with some spots only dropping into the low 70s. Watch the super moon for tonight. This is at its peak where it's about 30% its brightest, and the next one won't happen until August of next year, so you want to get out and take those pictures like Christina mentioned. Tomorrow morning, we'll start out with some fog. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. Watch out for storms in the afternoon. High temperatures could be in the low 70s, excuse me, the low 90s in a lot of spots, especially across interior New Jersey tomorrow. As All right. Did wow. Wow. Caliente, Puente. I can't even pay attention to anything else. Let's just stand with that. What do we have here? So well, you think you can dance? She, for. Well, she, it was right part here. of a contest, and she, it was like a, so you think you can dance salsa dance off. It was tonight at MLK High School for the Arts on the west side. And she was shaking her groove thing. She's got the the attitude. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It was all for, so impressed. All for a good is, cause. This is why she's been doing all that Who soul cycle. That so that that that. That. I know. Well, uh, hey, it's Tito Puente's daughter. Business. So, I, I mean, know. it's like, you know, that's... Wow. Alvin. I'm starting to I, I, I don't think she's too conservative, Dari. I, yeah. I knew about the surprise. karaoke, but I didn't know about this. Yeah, she's a, she's <laughs> a wild woman, that Audrey. <laughs> Sorry, All right. Audrey. Very good. Sports <laughs> is up next now. Oh, Russ, good luck topping that, buddy. I know. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, I, 